Uh, first off, congrats to Coach Martin and their ball club. Uh, they earned every single bit of that fair and square. Uh, tremendous ball club. They're playing very well at the right time. Uh, they can pitch. They're very well balanced. They have a very well balanced uh, lineup that's tough to navigate. It's tough to pitch to. Uh, if you win, if you lose the battle, and I talked about this the other day, if you lose the battle of the freebies with them, uh, it's, it could be a miserable night, and that's what happened to us tonight. You know, uh, we might have set a new league record as far as us punching out and then us giving up walks. We there's a lot of freebies with errors and whatnot, and those guys did a great job of capitalizing. That's how razor thin the line is on winning and losing. We go from a team that's up three runs yesterday with two outs in the seventh to, uh, you know, dropping that one then then being done. And so uh, that was kind of the, the synopsis of the series in itself. Uh, me personally, uh, my thoughts and emotions right now are this, just very, very, very thankful. Uh, you know, first and foremost, and says in Ephesians 5.20 to give thanks for everything through Jesus Christ. And, uh, I, you know, without him, I'm not here. And uh, without him, I don't have the relationship that I have with these boys. I'm so thankful to get to coach these young men. Uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, I love them. I love them like family. I've always needed these guys way more than they've ever needed me. And uh, we have built a bond that will last a lifetime. I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for their families. They come from incredible families. Uh, thankful for our administration, our university, our community, and all the love and support that got us to this point. It was palpable. You could feel it. Uh, you could feel people pulling for us, and you could feel the love back home. Uh, this was a remarkable journey and a remarkable ride that does not happen without the leadership and guidance of these seniors that you see sitting up here right now. They have taken this program and this university to new heights. Uh, am I disappointed? Yes. I have absolutely zero regrets. Uh, I'm a firm believer that it's not always about the final destination. You don't have the most fun when you get to where you're going. All the fun for me is in the truck ride or the car ride there. And I'm gonna tell you what, for the last two years, we have had one heck of a car ride or a truck ride where we were going. And uh, we had a circus at times, uh, you know. But this is a family. It may be dysfunctional at times, but it is a tight-knit family that will be bound together uh, for the rest of our lives. I also want to thank my wife and kids that have stood by me through so much uh, to get us to this point and uh, all of our family back home. And Just like I said, very thankful. We will have absolutely zero regrets because we know that we have dotted every I, crossed every T, and that we've done things the right way to get to this point. And I will tell you this, the guys in that dugout that are coming back, they will be back. We're going to have an incredible ball club next year. This was great experience for us. We might have even been a year ahead of schedule, but that's a testament to these guys, Taylor Bean as well and Bryce Johnson, who will lose as well. So uh, very thankful this was a first-class operation this week. Florida State should be commended. Uh, you guys. Uh, very hospitable, made us feel at home. Everybody here is a class act, so thank you all for having us. Questions for Coach of the Student Athletes? Hey, throughout the, uh, the delay before you guys actually got started, but probably had to warm up uh, probably three times before actually getting to throw the fish. Did that have any, any effect on you? <laughs> um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, what it comes down to is is going out there and making pitches and and competing, and uh, you know, I mean, m maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But uh, you know, at the at like I said, at the end of the day, it's that's what it comes down to. And uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't uh, didn't make a lot of pitches when I needed to, and you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll I'll sleep good tonight, knowing I left it out there. I'll say that. Seven, going through seven pitchers tonight, but it's just a matter of not being able to find the right guy at the right time, the right combination. 
Not really. We left our, you know, we left our warrior on a bump as long as we could as a uh, tribute to him, I guess. Uh, I, he decided when he came out. I didn't decide when he came out. Uh, it was our honor to get to coach him and play behind him. He's an All-American. Uh, five years ago, this kid was a student at Texas A&M. He wasn't even playing baseball. He has an unbelievable story and uh, has come from nowhere to win 20 games at Sam Houston State, uh, to be the tournament MVP, to be an All-American, uh, to get his degree. It's just an incredible story. So we let him ride. Uh, I told him, <laughs> I'll go down with you, bud. That's my honor. Uh, you know, so we got some different guys, some experience. Uh, at a certain point, you can see the writing on the wall, and it just wasn't our night. Like I said, too many freebies. And that team over there is uh, – they're clicking right now. Their shortstop's going to play in the big leagues. Uh, they have a lot of players that are extremely good. And uh, you can't give them anything, and we found that out the hard way tonight. Robbie, what, what did it mean for you when, uh, when Coach pulled you for, you for you to get the standing ovation there? Uh, it means the world. I mean – <clears throat> going out every day and uh, grinding with all these guys and these coaches. Um, like he said, everybody here at Florida State was uh, first class, and it was definitely uh, a good feeling seeing all those fans stand up like that. Robert, you're a guy that's kind of taken a couple of different routes to get here, and you know, Coach always talks about what you guys mean to him. But in a season like this where he's at the core, what does Coach mean to you guys? Uh, he means the world. I mean, without – I mean, me and him and him and Lance could all say that without Coach Deggs, we're a student at a, a university. We're not playing baseball anymore. He all – we always believe in giving a guy a second chance, and that's what he gave all three of us, a second chance. Um, but he means the world. I know I'm going to – he's going to see my kids in the future. He's going to be at my wedding. He'll uh, he'll be there with us for the rest of our lives, and it's a great feeling knowing that he's there for you no matter what. I'm going to talk on that for a second, if you guys don't mind. Um, you know, he's the most humble guy I've ever met in my life, and he has every reason not to be. What he's done in college baseball, the route he's chosen, the route God has chosen for him, it's been up and down, and every single day, this dude drives the train, and you'll never hear him talk about himself. Talks about other guys, talks guys up that probably should don't deserve to be talked up, but he does it because he he understands he understands life. He understands that that we're young men, you know, 18 to 23 year old men that are at a crucial point in their lives, who leave their parents. Their parents send them off to go, you know, say hello to their new dad, and you know he'll get on to you and he'll get on to us, but. What he does, the way he ha handles a ball club, and what he does, what he's done for Sam Houston State, I mean, I could talk for 10 minutes right now about it, and he'll, you'll never hear him talk about it. But I just want everybody to know what he means to us as players. I'm sure, I mean, Robbie just said it, but I just got to get it off my mind because I probably won't have this chance again in my life that he's hands down the best coach in college baseball. I mean, taking people, and turn them into grown men. Talk about grown men, not just good baseball players, but actual guys with good GPAs, guys that will graduate, guys that do the right thing in the classroom, in the community, treat women the right way. I mean, these are just some of the things that he preaches. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have a, a stylistic offense, and uh, you know we do things different in the in the baseball world, but in life, the things that he preaches to us is just, it's incredible. And I was lucky enough, like you mentioned Robbie and Heath had their own route of to, to get here. I think God has a purpose for everyone and everything happens for a reason. And I ended up at Sam Houston State. Um, I started off at Kansas State. And I think that I came exactly where I was supposed to come because the, the way that I grew up, um, just in the three years under this man right here, is unbelievable and I'm eternally thankful for it and I hope that you can understand the sincerity of my voice because I mean this man what he did for me and what he did for the guys in there and what he's going to continue to do for this ball club you can't say enough about and I had to say it because he'll never say it and that's that's why I love him so much. It's for Lance, Robert, Heath, whoever wants it but uh 
What have what the last two years been like, especially this year, getting to be one of the final 16 teams playing in the country for a championship? I'll go first. Um, <laughs> the last two years have been the best two years of my life. Um, <laughs> Sam Houston has has given me everything, and uh, so have these guys. Like Lance said, with Coach Deggs, it changed my life, and uh, <laughs> and and I'll I'll be eternally grateful for it for Sam Houston as a university, all the people that that I've encountered. Um, at Sam Houston, and uh, you know, through baseball, uh, you know, I'm I met my awesome girlfriend at Sam Houston. And it's it's changed my life. It's changed my parents' life, from from guys like Coach Deggs who have have taught us how to be men, and uh, and what we're able to give back to our families because of that. And uh, to, I'll be forever grateful for it. And uh, and and for my teammates, you know, they they recruit guys that. I just love to play, love to come to the yard every day, and uh, and we'll just throw down at a moment's notice, you know, every single guy, and they'll be back. <laughs> there's a there's a ton of young talent in there, and they'll be back, you know, and uh, there will be new leaders step up because they'll be coached by guys like Coach Deggs and and Coach Sirianni, and uh, you know, like we got the opportunity to be that this year as seniors and. Uh, and there will be new guys next year. And Sam Houston State will be on the map for a long time, as long as Matt Deggs and Jay Sirianni and Coach Arvell, as long as those guys are there, Sam Houston will be back. And I, I guarantee you that. You three, like your three seniors. How does it feel to, to, to be the class that took Sam Houston State to that next level, maybe laid that foundation for continuing to take this program further and further on, on a national scale? Yeah, obviously it's an incredible feeling uh, for us to be the ones that were lucky enough to actually catch those breaks and take that next step into the Super Regional. But let's not kid ourselves. Sam Houston's been in the regionals. They've been in regional finals. We've had incredible players that have come to Sam Houston uh, that are still my friends and I still talk to. And every single one of them reached out to us. And you know, not a lot of them played for, for Coach Deggs. But they can just feel it, and they were so proud of us. And I, I can speak for probably all of us that we were more proud that we were the ones that could actually push through that gate uh, for them, so that they can, you know, be proud to tell people that they work with, you know, people that they play with, that those that are still playing. That yeah, I went to Sam Houston State. You know, those guys can play, and they they do things the right way, and they have fun. They love each other. And, you know, I think that's, those are all the things that people say about us whenever they watch us play. And, and I know that's what the guys that have come through here have said. And I, I know that uh, next year, continuing on with the, the guys that will step up next year with these coaches that are going to keep leading them, that's what's going to continue to be said. And I think there's the, the best base, Sam Houston's best baseball is yet to be played. Any more questions? Coach, what does that kind of do for you to hear those words from the core of your team? It's family, you know. For years, I was a transactional coach. What can I get? What can I get? And uh, when you get fired, it humbles you. I spent 430 days outside the game. Everybody asked, uh, you know, you were here with the Aggies in 2011. No, I wasn't. I was fired. And uh, I just sit there and watch the Aggies play. And God has brought me full circle and changed my life. I was dead and he saved me. And so I'm a transformational coach now. It's not about wins or losses. It's about love. It's about building men, building relationships that will last forever. I got a second chance. This guy's a second chance guy. This guy's a second chance guy. This guy's a second chance guy. We're about building people up. You know, it's not mission Omaha. It's mission build and save lives. And that's what we're in the business of doing. This is the most unselfish, selfless group of men and families I've ever been around. This is rare in this day and age rare in a, in a microwave society where it's all about entitlement and all about when do I get to play. This guy's playing with a broken left hand right now. Nobody knows that. 
his left hand's broken. Last year he played with a broken wrist. Last year Taylor Bean played with a broken thumb. I won't even get into the rest of the litany of injuries that are going on with this team right now. Andrew Frije just walked up to me in the dugout and said, give my last at bat to Nate Van Dyke. Robbie Rojas gave up his last at bat so Hunter uh, Sutherland could catch. You know, there is no greater honor, and this is, I could preach. It's what I wish our, our country would get back to. There's no greater honor than the sacrifice for a brother. And that encapsulates and embodies this team to a T. That's why they're so lovable. Any more questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.